Hey there, and welcome to RAM's basics tutorial series. If you need more information about RAM, you can look up a demo with our team using the link in the description. You can also create a free RAM account and use the templates below to draw along with me as we go through this tutorial. Let's dive in. Welcome to RAM's import tutorial. We're going to review how to import different types of files that RAM supports, like DWG, DXF, PDF, and images. Let's get started. From RAN's workspace, you can go to the top right of your screen uh, to the import button. Hovering over it will show the different types of files RAN supports and the size limitation, so 25 megabytes per file. I'm going to click on the import button and let's start with the DWG file. RAN is now opening a temporary pop-up tab in my browser, so make sure you don't have a blocker um, and if you do, maybe you want to remove it uh, for the sake of importing. Now I get a preview of my DWG file and what I have to do is basically follow the tagline on the bottom. Saran is asking me to pick a known length by setting two points. I'm going to go ahead and look for a distance uh, of reference, a dimension that's stated on my model, like this door, for example. And let's draw uh, the line onto this dimension. So point 0.1 and point 0.2. Now I have a few options. Rain is asking me how long is the picked line. I have some drop downs. So the first one is the system, metric or imperial. The second one is the unit, millimeters, centimeters, or meters. And then I have a few options I have to select from. So I know that this door is uh, probably not 93 meters, uh, meaning that uh, maybe we'll change this to centimeters. And then let's choose 94 centimeters approximately. Now that we did that, we can click on continue and Ryan is converting our model and prepping it into a model we can work on. That's basically it. That's how you import a DWG file. What you want to do now is maybe verify the dimension of your drawing, make sure it's all in place, and then you can always refine it if needed. So I'm just going to zoom back into this door and I'll grab the distance tool just verify that I have the dimensions right. So there you go. Yes, it's 94 centimeters. By the way, if you want to change the units of your drawing, know that on the right here, you can also change between the different metric imperial system units um, and precision settings. If you want to reset the scaling of your drawing, all you have to do is find the scaling button in the editing toolbar on the bottom right here. You can go to scale. Select the elements on your drawing you wish to scale and then done and basically go through the same process as uh, we did when we imported. So select uh, two points and then let's say I want this to be um, 85 centimeter door and not 95. I can either do this manually or by inputting a value. There you go. All right, next file type is up. Let's see how to import a PDF into RAM. Let's go to the import button, select the PDF file and open it. If I have a PDF with more than one page, I can select multiple pages um, with a limit of 10 pages for one model. For this example, let's grab these two pages and then go to the bottom button. Note that you have two options here. One is importing as vectors, meaning that the PDF lines will be editable. You can change things around, move, you know, lines, furniture blocks and such, and even edit their style. So line weights, colors, uh, at hatches and such. If you import as an image, it's just going to be a static image of what you see in your PDF. So according to your preference, select your option and then click on the button. And there you go. So what I want to do now is follow the bottom tagline. It says pick a known length by setting two points. I'm going to search for a distance of reference on my drawing. Uh, in this case, we can grab um, this room length, which is 72 centimeters. I'm going to set the first point right here and then the second point right here. I can also get, you know, super in there and make it uh, even more precise. There you go. Now I can choose the settings from the RAN dropdowns. I have the selection between the metric or imperial system, the units, so millimeters up to meters. And when importing a PDF, I can input a value. So I can say this is 72 centimeters precisely. Let's go to the next page and do the same process. So we can do it for you know a different distance of reference or just the same one. And that's it. Ren has scaled my PDFs and is converting this into a model. 
you can see here that each page of my PDF was placed on a different canvas. So this is page one and this is page two. You can always copy paste between canvases if you want them to be uh, placed one next to the other. Next up is importing an image. Let's go back to the workspace. All right, let's import an image in RAM. Clicking the import button and selecting an image from my desktop. Then again, let's select a known distance and uh, draw two points between it. So point one, then point two. I'm gonna select between the metric and imperial system, centimeters and uh, meters, and then uh, input a value. So this is 3.39 meters. Continue. That's it, Ren has scaled my drawing. Once you've imported a file from your workspace and created a model, you can continue importing different types of files. If you go to your main menu, import, and then whichever file you'd like. Let's add another image into this model to create a mood board. And you see that once I place an image in an existing model, I don't have that scaling uh, step. So it's up to you to then either scale it manually or use the scale tool from the bottom toolbar uh, to scale, which is down here. Another fun fact about images is that since we're working on a browser-based tool, you can jump into another tab, copy an image and paste it directly. And last but not least, you can go to our editing abilities and upscale images or remove their background. So just to make it clear, this can be done not just for images, but if you want to import DWG PDFs into existing models, that's also absolutely fine. All right, so just to recap this tutorial, what we've done today is see how to import different types of files in RAM. We've imported a DWG, DXF, PDF, and image, each one with a slightly different flow. We've noticed that we can import from our workspace and from within our models, um, and then start editing and creating our projects. The next thing you might be wondering is how to export your drawings. For that, please go to our tutorial list and watch the tutorial about exporting. There you'll learn about pages, canvases, views, and more. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any more questions, you're welcome to book a demo with our team by using the link in the description. You can also join our community and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Have a good one.